welcome to the Dubai Autodrome for the first round of the 2011-2012 UAE National Race Day Series. After the summer break, all the competitors are eager to get back on track and on the bill this weekend are the UAE Touring Cars and the UAE Sports Bikes. This season also sees the start of three new independent race series which will support the UAE National Race Day Championships. Two of those are racing today, the FG1000 single-seaters and the Radical Cup Series. As with every new season, this year sees a few notable changes. One of these is the appointment of a new chairman at Dubai Autodrome, Ali Fardan Al Fardan. I hope this season uh, will be a safe season and uh, I think uh, after the financial crisis and people were afraid uh, to invest but I think the, the sport still live. Uh, this year we have a lot of competitors coming which will help us to show the autodrome facility for the people and I think this is a challenging year for us. And Ali Farden isn't the only new addition to the UAE National Race Day Series this season. On board for the first time as title sponsor of the GT Series is NGK Spark Plugs. They'll be joined by Total as the sponsor of the UAE Touring Cars and Dunlop, who remain as tyre suppliers across all the championships. So on to the action, and round one of the Total UAE Touring Cars sees the competition take place in two classes. Class one is for two-litre turbocharged cars, super touring cars, and normally aspirated cars up to three litres. While class two is for the smaller 1.6 to two-litre engine cars. Also within class two is the Clio Cup category, not surprisingly, restricted to the Clio Cup cars. In the driver lineup, Class 1 sees a new challenge from the previous season, with the MSW Sayat of Andre Ramdani out of the running. Last year's champion Khalid bin Hadda has also given over his Class 1 Sayat to Mohamed Alawais, while he tries his hand in the Clio Cup category. Bin Hadda was a formidable force in Class 1 last season and his absence may well open the door to other championship hopefuls. Among them, keep an eye out this season for Ramsey Mutran. This season sees Ramsey and his brothers Sammy and Nabil back on the grid racing in their distinctive red and black Seat Super Copa. Ramsey actually started in motorsport as a rally co-driver, but soon realised there was a lot of expense for not enough road time. I love the sport, sport and motorsport, and um, started karting a bit, did a few 24 hour karting races. Figured I wanted more, so I came to track days, then wanted more, bought a uh, little golf, started racing, and here I am. Ramsey and his brothers, each race day is a real family outing. Both Nabil and Sammy race in other championships and sister Natasha is a team manager when they race in endurance events. Surprisingly, although the three brothers work together at their family-run advertising agency, they only really catch up at the racetrack. And all of them agree that racing is the ideal way to get away from it all. My life is full of so much stuff and it's the only place in my life I have that is I've got nothing in my brain except the next corner. And it's a nice, it's like yoga for some people, I think. It's my peace. You'd think there's not much peace to be found sat in 45 degree heat behind a roaring engine. The smell of fuel and the stress of wanting to stay at the front. But it's a place that Ramsey is apparently at home with, having qualified in pole position in the Sayad Supercopa. So this is our uh, Sayad Cooper. Um, I was walking around the car. Inside the uh, standard off-the-shelf 2-litre turbocharged engine. The big modification, as you can see, is this flat floor, which goes under the entire car, which helps with the aerodynamics. It's a pretty good car. It's uh, one of the fastest in its class at the moment here. With some excellent drivers and the promise of extremely close racing, Class 1 of the UAE Touring Cars looks like it's going to be full of excitement this season. And whilst Ramsey is keen to see more drivers taking on the challenge, this level-headed racer offers some cautious advice. Make sure you financially can afford to do it because it sucks trying to scrape it through. You know, make sure you can, and, and pick a class of racing that mm, can meet your budget, you know. The big GT cars are beautiful, but trust me, the guys in the Clio are having more fun.
So race day one of the new 2011-2012 season. And not surprisingly, all the drivers were eager to get the season off to a good start. After the morning qualifying, Ramsey Mutran found himself sitting in pole position ahead of Nadir Zuhor. By the time they headed into the bowl for the first time, it was Zuhor who was leading ahead of Mutran. Meanwhile, Englishman Martin Johnson, who had started the race from the rear of the grid, quickly began a charge up through the traffic in his Phoenix racing Vauxhall Astra. Elsewhere, a Mohammed al wasn't having such a good return to touring cars. Racing in Khalid bin Hadda's championship winning Sayat, the young Emirati was forced to retire on lap three. And at the head of the field, it was a similar story for Nadir Zuhor, with the Jordanian running into trouble six laps later. Uh, we had a problem with race one. I was leading race for eight laps. Uh, after that, I had a failure in the brake. Uh, I just finished uh, third in the race one. Uh, right now, we just uh, bleeded the brakes again, and uh, let's see. Zuhor's misfortune was good news for Ramsey Mutran, who, after trailing for much of the race, now found himself in the lead. Not far behind him, and Martin Johnson's Astra was flying, having got past Papantonis to take third place. He then pipped the struggling Nadir Zuhor to the post to take second place behind race winner Ramsey Mutran. So confirmation of the final positions in race one, and it was Ramsey Mutran with the win ahead of Martin Johnson in second and Nadir Zuhor in third. Race two, and this time it was Ramsey Mutran who took the lead from the start. Behind him, and Mohamed al seemed to have resolved his earlier problems. The lap 57 driver came through the field to grab second place ahead of the Englishman Martin Johnson in third. Meanwhile, not the best of days for Nadir Zuhor, as he experienced mechanical problems once again and slipped from second to fifth behind Costas Papantonis. I came into this, this day not knowing what to expect. I mean, there's a lot of new cars, a lot of good drivers, um, and it's hot out there. So uh, I wasn't quite expecting two wins. I was expecting to be up there fighting for wins, but um, this is a real pleasure. It was really good. So confirmation of the final positions in race two, and it was Ramsey Mutran with the win ahead of Mohamed al in second and Martin Johnson in third. So a perfect start to the championship for Ramsey Mutran with maximum points for the race weekend. After the break, we're back with the UAE Sport Bikes, which this year sees a strong lineup of rookies as well as experienced riders. And we'll be taking a closer look at one of the 600cc championship hopefuls, Alan Boiter. Don't go away.